Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, to answer a few questions once again I will answer one that I've answered in many videos and I would appreciate instead of asking the question that I've already answered in video that you watch the video. Um, so the first question uh, that I've answered a few times and I will re-answer here. Yes, Windows 11 is probably and I would guess be free to upgrade for people on Windows 10 and even Windows 8. Some of the tech journalists have activated with a Windows 8 key, which means in Windows 8, Windows 10, upgradable to Windows 11 for free. So that's the first thing. Here is a perfect example of your software. Will it work? Well, everything that I have had installed on my PC here, everything works fine. Um, there's no um, no glitches as of yet, no nothing mm -hmm. special. So um, here's a uh, you hear the uh, new sounds of Windows here. So uh, yeah, let's say yes. And what is it going to do when I say yes? It brings me to the uh, announcement page. Um, so, anyways, um, the software seems to work fine. Concerning that TPM 2.0, a lot of people are asking once again, what's TPM? Uh, trusted platform module is a chip. It's not software. It's an actual chip on a motherboard. It's a security feature built in to motherboards. And I don't know if this is going to be a requirement, but if it is, then of course there's going to be that trick that you can do that I did that will probably have a lot of people still having it work, but it means that they're trying to move on to more modern technology with better security probably because they want to do some security management. Uh, but is it officially going to be that when it's released? That's the other thing, but it, I would think it is if it is right now. Um, to answer questions about Windows 10, Will Windows 10 still be there? Is it dead? Windows 10 isn't dead. It's going to be supported as it should be until 2025. That we know. We also know that this is not 21H2. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, look at that. This is the 21H2 update. No, this is not 21H2. This is Windows 11. It's something different. It is something different. 21H2 is still a thing, and it's going to happen on Windows 10. So Windows 10 is going to have 21H2, the next uh, update this fall. So that's for sure. Um, the other thing that um, people are saying is, will I be able to stay in Windows 10? Will I be forced to go there to Windows 11? No, you're not going to be forced. This is optional, and you won't have to. Um, a lot of you have been asking, is it going to come through Windows Update? I probably, uh, probably it will. It, uh, there's, a, there's a chance that you'll have probably a Windows Update that's going to say there's a feature update or there's a new update for a next version of Windows called Windows 11. It's going to be offered probably through Windows Update. And it's going to be optional. You don't have to move on to this. Um, are we stuck with this interface? Well, there's a switch. Um, I've seen a, um, po a blog post where somebody shows that there's a registry trick that when you actually activate it, it brings you back to Windows 10 look and feel in every menu and everywhere. So this is a user interface on top, but it can be actually changed back to Windows 10 style directly. Um, It'd be fun maybe if they'd add an on-off switch directly in the menus instead of having to go and play in the registry all the time. I think that would be a good idea. And, um, well, from what I've been reading and learning a lot, uh, this is close to be the completed stuff. This build is about uh, two weeks old, and there's not that much that's going to happen because apparently this is going to be officially announced as finished within the next few weeks. So maybe a couple of other things are going to change, but not much, honestly. And of course, it's going to be moved on to the insiders for testing. And this is going to be happening this fall uh, for people that want to have it. So if you have any questions, uh, anything that I haven't covered, 
please uh, post your questions in the description below. And um, if uh, there's enough questions of interest, I'll make a uh, little uh, post once again with all the questions and answers that what we know of. But uh, this is close to being finished already. And uh, this is Windows 11. Kind of interesting, uh, kind of uh, a little bit of surprise, but also at the same time, I think a lot of people are a little sad that they didn't go you know, further into the design changes. But uh, that's probably going to be a work in progress within the next you know, months and years. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.